Daryl Vasquez, congratulations on being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank well you. Deserved. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, can I ask you a few questions about uh, your wrestling career and your life? And, uh, let's get started. Uh, what individual had the greatest impact in your wrestling career? It's hard to put one individual. So the, the, I would say there's a, my family is the group of people that had the biggest impact on me just because you know, they were, they were my sports system. They were everything. They did um, everything throughout my uh, years growing up um, to be able to give me um, the ability and uh, to, to have the success I had, you know, from uh, coaching me and training me, um, uh, my mom helping with everything, traveling, taking me everywhere, and, and my older brothers, you know, being able to, uh, you know, them being five and six years older than me, I was able to be in a high school room at a young age. Um, I was able to get, um, you know, influenced at a, a higher level um, than I was as a kid. And, and even when they were in college, you know, as I was just entering into the junior high and high school, I was getting to kind of get that atmosphere, um, especially at Cal State at the time, you know, they ended up uh, taking third in the country around then. Um, so I was being influenced by, you know, a really high level of, of athletes. And because of that, did that give you a lot of the confidence that? Uh, I think it did. I th I think it did. So o over the over the years of of being around that, you know, there there is a sense of, you know, kind of belief in yourself more than what you could ever imagine. And uh, you know, when I when I set my goals, there was no uh, hesitation that I wasn't going to do that. Um, and there was, you know, especially when you're in the college room and, and you're telling, you know, these, you know, guys like Stephen Neal, who's, you know, a national champion, and you're telling him this goal that he didn't accomplish, nor did it, has anyone accomplished, you know, I was laughed at, you know, really to some extent. And I understand that. It wasn't, I didn't take offense to it. And, and it never even, you know, crossed my mind that what I was set setting myself out to do was, was somewhat unachievable at the time. Um, and, and there was, because of the people I was around, uh, because of the influences I had, um, I was able to um, muster up something and, and make it happen. Certainly did. <laughs> uh, did you have a wrestling idol or hero growing up? I don't like using that term um, because I believe that God created me so unique. Um, so I don't like having like an actual idol, someone that I idolized. Um, so I would say I had people that influenced me and because I believe that God created me so uniquely, there were things that I would learn from people and gain from people and learn how to put that into my own wrestling ability. So while I had a lot of wrestling icons that I follow, guys like Eric Guerrero, Steven Abbas, you know, uh, even Russians, you know, going to Satyev and those kind of guys. Um, I didn't idolize what they did. I, I saw how they wrestled and, and wanted to grab things from them to put into my own wrestling ability. Model, Model them, yeah. Uh, what was your most outstanding memory you had from your career as a wrestler, Daryl? You've had a lot of good ones. I, I do. Um, and, you know, Obviously, through the years of high school, I had, you know, a lot of success there. And in, and in college, you know, being able to make it to the semifinals of the NCAAs um, was, was up there. But I would say, you know, I think my match with Jacob Palomino would have to be um, kind of the most notable m memory just because um, I had set out to do something so early, um, so young. And... You know, I had written, you know, to be, I, I really had two goals, and it was to be the first freshman state champion and the first four-time state champion. And as I began to grow and, and these things be just so ingrained in my thought and my mind, when I went to the state tournament my eighth grade year and watching Jacob, you know, take one of those goals away from me, you know, that lead up from that moment until we wrestled four years later in my junior year. 
And then not only, not only the, the, I would say the anticipation and the buildup of two athletes going for one goal and then going one and one throughout the, throughout the season. So I beat him once and he beat me once. So taking that into the finals, I think, you know, for myself, it was, there was so much culmination into this match. And I think it just brought, it, it just is a highlight, you know, of my career. For sure. It was a storybook. So yes. Yeah. Couldn't have added any better. No. As a fan. <laughs> I was ready for that one. <laughs> what got you involved in sport wrestling? I know you come from a wrestling family. Yeah. I do. My dad wrestled um, in high school. It wasn't something that he wasn't a high level wrestler. He wasn't at a high level um, high school. Um, he played football. He he played baseball. Um, but wrestling for him was always something that he like. I he he would always talk about the most. He never really, you know, he didn't push us into football. Uh, we played a little baseball growing up, but wrestling was something that he always desired us to do. And as a kid, I had no desire to do that. Like, you know, again, I grew up watching WWF and, and that was wrestling to me. And they just wore these, you know, silly outfits and I was never going to see myself do that. And I think a big part of that was my influence that my brothers had on me. You know, they were in baseball and they wanted to be professional baseball players. And that's what I want to do. I wanted to follow in their footsteps. And, um, it wasn't until my brother came home and said I joined the wrestling team that I put my baseball bat on the ground and, and, and never looked back. So they had the biggest influence on me and, and, and my dad obviously desiring that the minute we did it, he was all in and he was doing everything he possibly could to, to give us the avenue to succeed. Um, what part of your personality, Daryl, do you think personal attribute enabled you to uh, achieved so much in sport? Um, so as far as a personal, uh, I want it. oh man, this is a tough one. <laughs> um, I would say grit. Um, and I, I've talked to my dad, you know, obviously now kind of, you, you kind of reminisce, you know, you think about what, did you see these things that I could, I could do? And, and he would be like, no, I, I never saw some of these attributes of me, you know, my, my, bro, my, my other brother, he, he was just athletic and, and carried so many possessions of, of talent that um, my dad goes, I could see him doing it. And it's not like I wasn't athletic, but I wasn't as athletic. Um, but I think there was, as I began to grow in my technique and began to grow in my hunger for the sport, um, I think looking back, I hated losing with everything I had. And not hating it like I, I'm afraid to go out and lose. It wasn't a, a, a fear of losing. Um, I think that could make, it typically makes kids not compete well. Um, I had a hatred for losing. And, and so it, it brought in me a fight on the, on the mat. And, and even if when I lost, it brought a hunger to never lose like that again. And it, and it put a hunger in me to uh, train harder, to be even more focused and do everything I can that it would never happen again. So I think that grit and, and that hatred for losing, I think, is, is something that, that I can look at now. <laughs> now that your career is over. Is there anything you would change about it? Not one thing I would change about my career at all. And, and that's a hard thing to say, especially because I had much bigger aspirations for my, my career in, in both college and beyond that I didn't succeed in. Um, I wanted a national title and I never got it. Um, and that's, that's hard to, um, that's a hard pill to swallow. Um, and I look back at matches and I, and, and, um, and you, always, you always struggle with those losses. You know, I probably struggle more with the losses than I do look back at the wins. But um, with that said, it, it has really developed me into the man I am today. And um, that comes a lot with not just wrestling, it comes to my relationship with the Lord and what He desires of me. You know, He desires not perfection, because if it was perfection, he would not have to send his son Jesus to die on the cross. He sent perfection so that we can have uh, eternal life with him. And um, 
but he, he desires us to have a relationship with him and he desires for us to work and, and do things on this earth to our highest ability, to the best that we can offer him. And um, that's what I did. And I feel like in college I failed in, in many aspects, but I failed in what I wanted to do. I failed in losing sight of, of my goals and what I wanted, but the greatest thing that I gained was that I learned from it and I grew from it and I became, in all honesty, I became a better man for it. I became a better husband for it. I became a better father for it. And that I, could, I would never give away. Wrestling to me, you know, as, as much as we love the sport, as much as we, um, you know, I, I constantly, I watch it still, I live by it. Um, but it's, in all honesty, it's a game. Uh, life is much bigger and the, the life I live now with my family, um, with my kids, and what I strive for is much bigger, but it, gr it, it, it instilled in me many aspects of how life is to be lived. Yeah. Well, you're certainly living it well here. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah. Well, congratulations and uh, enjoy your time tonight. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.